For decades, Taekwondo has been one of the most popular martial arts practiced around the world. It is widely performed by people of all ages and genders, primarily as a form of exercise or as a form of self-defense. Yet, there is a hot debate that persists among both patrons and observers surrounding the much-loved martial art. That is, is Taekwondo effective in a street fight? In order to draw an accurate conclusion about this, let's first take a quick look at the history of Taekwondo. Originating in Korea soon after the Second World War, the fighting style was introduced as a method of combat to the military by General Choi Hong Hai, loosely translated as the way of the foot and the fist, or the way of kicking and punching. It focused heavily on the use of leg kicks, as well as demonstrating punches, techniques for disarming someone, fighting with bayonets, and general hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Being a military tactic, the ultimate aim was to be able to defend oneself and incapacitate the enemy without the use of a weapon. This included the use of deadly force when necessary. Nowadays, it is important to note that there are two main international organizational bodies for Taekwondo and subsequently two different styles known as ITF, the International Taekwondo Federation, and WTF, World Taekwondo Federation. Choi Hong Hai founded the ITF in 1966, while the WTF was formed in 1973 and governs the sports-centric version of Taekwondo that is seen in the Olympic and Paralympic Games. ITF training tends to practice the martial art with a view towards real self-defense, similar to Hapkido, another Korean martial art, which teaches a more complete fighting philosophy and covers multiple ranges of attack, such as kicking, punching, and grappling. On the other hand, perhaps the most iconic form of Taekwondo that is likely to be taught in modern dojos is the WTF style that features much more in the way of ranged kicks and flashy techniques. The WTF version has been included in the Olympics since 1988, and its movie-like aesthetics is largely responsible for the increased popularity of the sport outside of Korea. It is important to know about these different styles of Taekwondo when considering their effectiveness in a street fight, as most practitioners are likely to have learned WTF Taekwondo rather than the more versatile and arguably more combative ITF style. The majority of training arenas or dojos advertise Taekwondo as a means of having fun, improving your fitness, and encouraging self-improvement. It is rarely, if ever, taught as a way of exhibiting aggression or causing harm to others. It is therefore assumed in this scenario that the person who knows Taekwondo is probably not the person who started the fight, but someone who seeks to defend themselves and put an end to it. As previously mentioned, in order to take it up as a serious method of self-defense, you will likely have to seek out a teacher well-versed in the ITF style. Of course, there is a competitive element to WTF Taekwondo as a sport as well, but unlike boxing or wrestling, it does not translate to a street fight scenario as seamlessly as other sports. That said, certain skills, techniques, and conditioning may prove useful and give a fighter that all-important edge. For instance, Taekwondo involves blocking, dodging, balance, and footwork that can be called upon when defending or evading an attack. They may not have been learned with a street fight in mind, but will be committed to a person's muscle memory and provide a quick reaction if practiced enough. If you have time to adopt the side-on fighting stance seen in Taekwondo, you may be better placed to implement some key moves. Sidestepping is a common skill, usually for evading kicks, but also handy for getting out of the way of a charging street fighter attempting to spear you and take you to the ground. Increasing or decreasing the distance between you and your foe by quickly skipping in or out of an area is another frequently used tactic that a Taekwondo expert can utilize. This advanced footwork could help to set up a knockout kick or prevent your attacker from landing a blow. 
Blocking hits with the palms is also an instinct that many martial artists acquire, and a successful block often creates an opportunity for a counterattack. Since a street fight usually happens spontaneously on the spur of the moment, there are lots of environmental factors to take into account too. For example, is there a lot of space or crowds of people around? One of the main components of Taekwondo is the acrobatic, long-range kicks that may allow you to strike your opponent and hit them before they can get to you. However, it's very difficult to perform these if the other person is already up in your grill and if there's little room to maneuver. In this case, relying on the martial arts techniques you've practiced could be your downfall and hand the edge to your attacker. Pretty much anything goes in a street fight, and you can't expect your opponent to abide by the same rules and techniques you do. A real-world fight is totally different to the battles we usually see on the big screen, and once the adrenaline kicks in, your poise and professionalism tends to go out the window. This is why, despite being great for fighting on paper, many martial arts are considered to be ineffective in a hectic street fight. What's more, many of the techniques were developed a long time ago, such as the spinning kick designed to topple a warrior from his horse. It may look great and score points if it connects in a sports arena, but in a dogfight, there will probably be no time to think about performing it, let alone being able to actually carry it off. Common attacks or counterattacks that a Taekwondo fighter may have at their disposal, though, include axe kicks, side kicks, and 45 or roundhouse kicks. Finding enough range to get power behind the kicks and to not be intercepted by your opponent is crucial in performing these effectively. While successful kicks are generally stronger than a punch, they generally take longer to complete and are more noticeable, therefore advertised to your attacker, giving them a chance to block, evade, or counter. Ultimately, someone who is reliant on their Taekwondo skills must be able to create enough space for themselves stay calm and focused amid the adrenaline rush, and be able to scrap with their fists if all else fails during a street fight. Students of ITF Taekwondo are probably better suited in this regard than a WTF trained fighter. Still, either form of Taekwondo training is not useless and will come into play, if only minimally in terms of footwork, balance, or stamina, rather than connecting with flying kicks. Given the right circumstances, you may see one or two impressive hits connect, but due to the chaotic, brawling nature of street fights, it's highly unlikely. If two people of similar build were to fight on the street, with one having Taekwondo experience and the other having no formal fight training, you'd expect the martial artist to have the upper hand. If they were facing up against a boxer or a larger person who could wrestle them to the ground, however, the chance of Taekwondo showing its worth, if only to dodge or block rather than to attack, is much slimmer. Remember, Taekwondo is a martial art, but it is also a sport. Fancy-looking kicks and other techniques are designed to push the performance of the human body for self-improvement. While it can be useful and competitive, using the latter in a street fight is akin to a gymnast trying to dodge a landslide. There is a distinct difference between martial arts classes and self-defense classes. Both have their merits, but the use of martial arts in a street fight is not as effective as actual self-defense classes, which may utilize some of the more practical martial arts techniques. So is Taekwondo effective in a street fight? Some of it, depending on who and where you're fighting. What do you think? Would knowing Taekwondo give someone a significant edge and hold any weight in a street fight? Or would it be meaningless when the two fighters came to blows? State your case in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.